In celebration of International Women's Month, 18 News is highlighting four local women who inspire, lead, and forge the way for other women. Our third Remarkable Woman finalist is Carol Cook. She's devoted much of her time to veterans for nearly a decade. Here is her story. If you had almost 200 acres of land, what would you do with it? Well, if you're like Carol Cook, you would open that land up to veterans from across the country. I've been out here on the farm since 1966, so we've been here a long time. Wanted to do something with the property, and that's kind of how we got into uh, vets and nature and doing different things with the veterans. It all started with an equine therapy program for veterans from the Bath VA. We used our horses here who are rescue horses, and we would spend four hours on a Sunday afternoon with them giving them a chance to groom and learn about horses, get a chance to ride and spend some time with, with the animals, which was really beneficial for everyone that came. Then in 2013, Carol realized she wanted to do something more. And I was doing transcription for a professor at Cornell who was very much into Wounded Warriors in Action, which is a national program that provides hunting and fishing trips for Purple Heart recipients. And so I worked with Wounded Warriors for five years from 2015 to 2019. And we had five deer hunts here at the farm in Newfield, met some really great people. And then in 2020, we decided we'd like to do something a little different. We decided we would like to include all veterans, not just combat wounded. So we decided to form our own organization called Vets in Nature. And we've been working with the Fallen Outdoors that also provides hunting, fishing, and camping trips to all veterans. Whether they're physical or mental, veterans often have new battles to fight when they leave the battlefield. And the great outdoors can serve as part of the healing process. The outdoor recreation plays such an important part in their mental well-being and return to, to um, society. The first year we did this, 2015, we had a gentleman come from Arkansas who was really having a difficult family life. Things were not going good. He was not adjusting well to civilian life. And he came up and spent four days with us. And he was a real character. He was a lot of fun to have. I received a wonderful note from his wife a week after he had returned and said that we had saved his marriage. We had saved their marriage. Now all these events come with a price tag and putting them together is no easy feat. But lucky for Carol, she loves to fundraise. Each year she puts together a jam-packed cruise and barbecue and vendor fair, and she's also been awarded money through the Solomon Organization, all for these outdoor excursions, something truly special for everyone involved. I'm a civilian, I've never been in the armed forces. How comfortable they feel just sitting down and talking to me about what they experienced telling me about their injuries and what they've been going through. It's just so heartwarming to have a chance to talk with them and have them say, we are so thankful for you doing something. You recognized us and it, it makes us feel so good. I don't know who gets more out of it, whether we do or they do. Our property would just sit idle if we didn't do this and being able to share it with so many people, whether they come on a hunt or they're helping us with a hunt, just makes us feel so very, very good.